Hey all you inspiring VBA programmers. This is the fourth video in a comprehensive course on programming Microsoft Office with VBA. This is the third video of Microsoft Word VBA examples. Last time, the Word VBA examples were about reading Word documents. This time, the examples are about writing Word documents. I will be continuing with the Book of Genesis for these examples. Let's see some ways to put text into a document. Active document dot content dot insert before Bible intro. But presumably, you want to put text into a document at a particular paragraph instead of relative to the whole document. So let's insert some text before the third paragraph. Active document dot paragraphs three dot range dot insert before Bible intro. This method of inserting text also works with the words collection. You may know a particular word you want new text to be relative to. Let's insert text before the fifth word. Active document dot words five dot insert before Bible intro. Similarly, you may know the sentence relative to where you want the new text. Let's insert text before the sixth sentence. Active document dot sentences six dot insert before Bible intro. We have been inserting new text, but not changing any existing text. Let's change the first paragraph from the first book of Moses called to book one. Active document dot paragraphs one dot range dot text equals book one. And let's change the ninth word of the document from Genesis to dawn. Active document dot words nine dot text equals dawn. But if you are changing text, it is more likely that you know the text you are replacing rather than a word, paragraph, or sentence number. So you can use the find object. Let's repeat the last example, replacing Genesis with dawn, but using the find object. Active document dot content dot find dot execute Genesis replace with colon equals dawn. Actually, this will replace all the instances of the word Genesis with the word Dawn, and perhaps you only want to change one. So let's modify the last example. Active document dot content dot find dot execute Genesis comma replace with colon equals Dawn replace colon equals word replace dot word replace one. Another way to change text is through whatever is highlighted. So let's change in the beginning to at first. Highlight in the beginning and then run this code. Application dot selection dot text equals at first. We have been changing text so now let's see how to change formatting instead. Let's bold and underline the fifth word of Genesis Moses. Active document dot words five dot bold equals true. Active document dot words five dot underline equals true. Now the subject of our actions bold and underline was the same in the last example but we had to type out active document dot words five twice. That's not too bad but sometimes the subject expression can be longer and you may be performing more than two actions on it. So let's throw in a third property action and see an alternate syntax with active documents dot words five dot bold equals true dot underline equals true dot italic equals true and with. You may also want to paste clipboard data into your document. Let's simulate that. First, get something on the clipboard. Select chapter one and copy with control C. Now place your cursor at the beginning of the first verse and execute this code. Application dot selection dot paste. You can also paste from the clipboard into words, sentences, or paragraphs that don't have a selection. For instance, we can paste the clipboard data over the first word. Active document dot words one dot paste. Or you can paste the clipboard data over the first sentence. Active document dot sentences one dot paste. Or you can paste the clipboard data over the first paragraph. Active document 
dot paragraphs one dot range dot paste. Notice there is a slightly different way for accessing the paragraphs. I want you to see examples first. I am pretty sure many of you will investigate the differences yourself out of curiosity, but I will also be coming back to these differences in later videos. My intent is examples first, theory second. Last time the examples were about reading Word document data. These examples started our investigation into writing Word documents. Next time will be examples of using multiple documents. If you have questions, just keep watching the videos. The point is to show examples first, and then with those examples in mind, I will go over the concepts in later videos. Try to watch these videos with your friends, because it will be much easier to learn by collaborating. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.